praying with the third universal apostolic preference of journeying with youth, I'd like to invite us to consider a few questions for our own reflection. We can make them part of perhaps an examine of the way that we accompany young people in our lives. First of all, when we interact with young people, do we give them the kind of care and attention that each of them deserve? The Lord looks at us with such tender love and care. When we are speaking with a young person, um, you know, someone who's a son or daughter or perhaps a student or we, someone we work with in our ministry and work, do we give them the kind of care and attention that really helps them to know that they're loved? That's an important way for them to experience God's love is through the, the care and love of the adults in their lives. We can also ask ourselves, do we encourage the young people we know to be open to their calling and their vocation? God invites people who are quite young into um, the work of salvation. Just look at the scriptures, you can see examples of Samuel called when he was a young boy in the temple, or the Virgin Mary, uh, who, while just a young woman, uh, received the message of the angel Gabriel, that she was to bear the Christ, right? She was to bear Jesus. Do we help the young people in our lives to see that they are called to something great and wonderful? Do we help them to pray about and discern their own vocation? And finally, do we, when we are um, working with young people, do we set an example for them of people who are dedicated in faith, who live lives of integrity, who truly center their lives on Christ? Without these kinds of examples in their lives, our young people, you know, it's easy for them to kind of look anywhere um, for uh, models and Quite frankly, the, the secular world is not a great place to look. I have to think about these own questions in my work with the students I teach here at DeSmet. Um, do I really give each one of them that kind of care and attention if I'm meeting one-on-one -on -one with a student uh, that you know, that particular young man deserves? Show them that they, I really care about them and what they think and feel. Do I encourage each of the young men I know to think about their own vocation, their own calling, um, and help them to have a sense of the dignity of what they're called to? Do I, in my own words and actions in the classroom and uh, on the sports field and in the halls, do I set an example for each of them? I think these could be helpful questions for us to reflect on uh, as we consider the ways that we can are called to accompany youth in our